think back when I was teaching at a junior high school, I remember there was a project, the Boys and Girls Club. I was excited to join. I was trained on the project and was shown the different groups of children I would be working with. I happened to notice this cute black boy sitting alone. He must have been about three or four. I walked up to him and I introduced myself. He was ignoring me and wouldn't look at me. When he finally looked up, I asked him his name. He just continued to ignore me. I told him to walk with me and started telling him stories about the things boys like to talk about, like bugs and trees and stuff. And that is how we knew it was going to be a long, cold winter. Well, that caught his attention, and we enjoyed our walks. This went on for a while until the project ended. I always wondered what happened to that boy. I always wondered what happened to that boy. Many years had passed, and I was at the same school working at the concession stand selling popcorn and candy for the football game, when all of a sudden someone tapped me on the shoulder. I looked up, and it was a tall man. He wanted to know if I had remembered him. I couldn't recall him. He reminded me about the school and the walks and the stories I would tell him. He also shared with me the impact that I had on his life. He shared with me the hard life he had back then and how he enjoyed my company. I told him how great it was to see him, and he told me he was married and had children and how his life was good. When he walked away, I felt inspired by his words. If I had any advice for any other teachers, it would be to not just teach, but to also listen and tell stories to the children, because you never know a difference you can make on someone's life.